I did not give you permission to search my car. You've heard these claims before. Did I stumble into Mexico or? YouTube is full of them. Can you please park your car over there? Claims that rights are stripped away in the search for cross-border crime. Tonight, protocol at U.S. Customs and Border Patrol checkpoints is under fire once again in southern Arizona. Yeah, leading the charge, the Arizona ACLU. Nine on your signs, Maggie Vespa joins us live in the newsroom tonight with more. Maggie. Guy, Estella, Border Patrol protocol states checkpoint stops should be brief and pertain only to establishing citizenship unless, and this is key, an agent has a reasonable suspicion a crime has been committed. Well, the Arizona ACLU claims those rules have gone out the window. I don't think it's right the way they treat people. You are watching 20 year old Julia Turner do what she's done every night after work for years. They ask me if I'm a U.S. citizen. I always answer yes. Though she says the trip through this Highway 80 checkpoint near Tombstone hasn't always been so smooth. They went through the glove box and took everything out of there. In two years, years Turner says Border gone. Patrol agents stopped and searched her car 15 times, usually citing an alert from a drug sniffing canine. You keep drugs in your car? No. I'm not a threat. Turner blames her race. She's not alone. All of them were subjected to extended, prolonged detentions, and in some cases, unlawful searches, um, verbal and physical abuse. Wednesday, the ACLU brought Turner's story, plus those of 14 others, to the Department of Homeland Security. ACLU attorney James Lyle. When people assert their rights, uh, all too often we see additional abuses being piled on. One man claims when he refused to confirm or deny having weapons in his car, an agent put a gun to his face. The tombstone spot is one of six Arizona checkpoints in question. Lyle and Turner believe that proves the problem is widespread. And of course, we reached out to U.S. Customs and Border Protection. They sent us a statement in return. It reads, in part, checkpoints are a critical enforcement tool for securing our nation's borders against transnational threats. It goes on to say CBP does not tolerate racial profiling or agent misconduct and appropriately investigates allegations of wrong uh, wrongdoing. You can find that full statement on our website, kgun9.com. Live in the newsroom, I'm Maggie Vespa, KGUN9 on your side.